Thank you. Um, it's great to be here. Welcome. I think it's the fourth time I say welcome on the front stage today, but this is the big one. This is the opening plenary. Really great to see you here, and you should know that we have 3,500 people online as well. Um, so, on behalf of the coordinating partners, that's C4, it's the UN Environment, it's the World Bank, IFPRI, the Food Policy Research Institute, SIA, the Center for International Tropical Agriculture, the Water, Land and Ecosystem Program, and Credit Suisse, as well as donors. Uh, including UKAID, the Australian government, and Finance in Motion, and all the session hosts. Many organizations are contributing to this event. You're all very welcome. I want to give special thanks and to the C4 team that has worked hard over the past months, and a special acknowledgement to Kamal, our captain on the ground, who makes all this happen. It's amazing every time. Um, so from there, landscapes. Landscapes are often portrayed as problem areas. Deforestation, degradation, loss of biodiversity, planetary boundaries, not enough food, not enough water, too much water, greenhouse gas emissions. We need to turn that around and see landscapes as opportunities for livelihoods and for well-being for billions of people. Think hundreds of millions of smallholder farmers and their businesses. Think of all the important value chains of renewable products that begin in landscapes. Think of the planet we want to leave to our children. We have great expectations on our landscapes. Meeting most of the SDGs depends on what happens in the, in the world's landscapes and how we can support people in managing them. Take finance, for example. Unless we can unleash the muscle of the private finance sector to also scale up investments on millions of farms, how can we expect sustainable solutions to appear at scale? Landscapes are places of many kinds. Large and small, tropical and boreal, variety of agriculture and forestry practices, ecosystems of all kinds. We want to embrace this diversity. We also need to embrace that landscapes are dynamic and they change much more over time than we think. We need to avoid, therefore, top-down, single agenda, fixed solutions. But at the same time, landscapes have many similarities. There are also spaces where different values come together, and that's true for all landscapes. And here it's important to, to note that there is a space here for landscapes that is not only about policy measures, it's not only about economic measures. It's about a lot of values that go beyond that. It's, uh, it's about individuals, it's about families, it's about community values, it's about faith-based values, it's about historical, um, cultural uh, traditions. Um, all of that are values that go into landscapes and they need to be dealt with. This is what the landscape approach is about. People bringing their value propositions to the table and figuring out what the best way forward is whether the landscape is a country or a farm or anything in between. And this is also what the Landscapes Forum is about, supporting people and landscapes, supporting learning and exchange, bringing experience and knowledge, working with the common denominators between landscapes. That's not to say that they are similar. They are very diverse, but they have some common denominators. And figuring out how to generalize those denominators without prescribing solutions. The most important of those things, in my view, is how do we define and measure progress? There are hundreds of ways of doing this. And there are thousands of methodologies. There are tens of thousands of indicators. We don't have a general way to do this, and that's one of the most crucial factors if we want to have consensus at higher levels for making pro that we're making progress, and if we want to make that scaled up finance to actually work. And maybe most importantly, following various elections, etc., reaching out to all those people who want to know more and want to be engaged more in their futures. We don't have to decide sides in, 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 in politics, but that's a clear signal that we're seeing from many countries these days. So finally, we are entering a new phase of the Landscapes Forum. You will hear more about that later today, but let me share one of the ambitions right now.
In the next five years or so, we want to reach and engage a billion people. And we will need your help in doing that. So this will be another exciting forum. It's the fourth, following Paris last year, Lima the year before that, and Warsaw three years ago. Thank you all for joining and for contributing. And let me end by saying that we're all part of this movement. Thank you and welcome.